Well, if this oil insider has, and like, let's just call him an oil insider. Maybe he's not an oil insider, but he's he's an oil uh, chief executive. Okay, uh, he ought to know what the hell he's doing. But if this guy, hey, it's, it's better than what you're getting from LW, right, the pastor. But if he's right, if he's right, he's right. You know, we're seeing oil prices go down. Well, I don't think that's going to last. That's what I was thinking, man. I think it's just a price war, temporary, and it's going to change. The situation's going to change. What we're going to be riding in the future is bikes like this. This is going to be our transportation. This is going to be our modus operandi for transportation, and it's very stylish, too. I guarantee you that right now. One seat only, but it uh, depends on who gets in that seat first. But let me put it to you this way. Um, this is a little bit of information that is solid, and um, <clears throat> it's going to give you some more outlook. I know that old girl here is looking through the glasses here, because you got to look through other situations in other ways than, you know, the other silver guys are. You know, I'm not even, a, I don't have nothing to do with David Morgan, you know. I don't even like the guy, you know. I mean, I'm like, I realize what's going on with these yo-yos and the silver they're silver pumpers to the max, but I just think you got a good investment if you hang out and you hang on. Even if you bought it way the hell up there, and even if you pay, I didn't pay 50 but if you did, even that is going to play out big time. Maybe it won't be that long, because when it goes up, it goes up fast. But anyway, if you're looking through your uh, glasses in a different direction, like old girl here is while you're idling... Uh, and you're waiting and you're keeping us uh, sitting pat on your holdings, you're going to find out that the picture for is actually very complicated in the uh, commodity market, just like the writings on the wall here and the writings in the ink marks. And if you read the actual ink marks on the, on the thighs, you'll, you'll see what the hell is going on. And, well, it's let me put it to you this way. It's from Harold Ham, chief executive of, of uh, North Dakota oil producer Continental Resources, he's actually getting rid of all the company's hedges on oil. He's getting rid of them. He's selling them out. He's taking the gain, and he's betting. He goes, hell, you know what? OPEC can't do crap. They're trying to drive us down. It ain't going to happen. The actual demand is there, and the supply ain't there. These prices are not going to hold up. And that's what's going on. Now, I know there's a little bit more going on, I think, with the markets with probably the way they're rigged. And, you know, it's like a complicated labyrinth. You know, you're not going to be able to read every damn thing that they're doing in the markets, you know, on a, with computers. But, you know, you got to got to figure this. The physical world catches up to the computer world one way or the other, you know. It's just like, uh, you know, ink and skin, I guess. You know, it only lasts so long, man. <laughs> but the bike goes forever, you know. So anyway, uh, as we're riding down here, Route 66 or 666, as the devils would have it, um, you know, it's a very, very, if this guy's, he, he says he sold off all his crude oil hedge positions on Shorten, and from October this year all the way through 2016. So he's no longer betting on a hedge. So he's thinking it's going to go up. He says, I sold them out. And you got to remember, well, who's uh, who's got a major, major bets and up their butt bets massively? Um, you know, he, he was George Soros on the markets going down. Uh, he's also got, you know, he's heavily invested in the gold miners and stuff. These people are going to play it out. But that's why you don't put all your money in the gold. Now, if Russia put all their money in gold, maybe they're going to have to sell some. I don't know. Maybe that's another deal. I don't know. But... The thing is, I think this is a very important development, and it's kind of telling you what's going on on the inside. There's going to be a lot of change coming out, and uh, you know you got to be in the right position on on to, to, to get the ride going. In other words, you know this guy over in uh, Continental Oil in North Dakota, he's positioning himself just like old girl here is positioning herself on the bike to take a fast ride upward and take that price momentum all the way up. Now, if oil goes up, like I said, you know, if you see an oil going way the hell up, more than likely you're going to see gold and everything else go up and silver. It's like the commodities kind of generally move together. The only time you might see them move apart is, say, for instance, um, 
they downgrade the dollar or something like that. Then you'll see oil go down and gold go up. But that's not a likely situation right now, as far as I could see. And I'll tell you right now. So the thing is, you know, just hang loose. Like the two girls over here on the bike, man, you got to hang loose. And you're going to see it. But, you know, it's interesting, though. I think this one little factoid I picked up, it's uh, Harold Hamm. Ham, it's, you know, just like General Hom. Remember General Hom? They got fired for Benghazi and all that kind of garbage. Not, you know, because he wanted to support the uh, Christopher Story over there. That's the same guy. I don't know if he's, he's probably not related, though, but same name, you know. He's chief executive of North Dakota um, Continental Resources. He's betting heavily. He, he got rid of his short position. I mean, if he cashed out now... He's betting that it ain't going to go that too much lower. That's about it. He wants to participate fully in the price rise going up. He's saying the demand is way too strong. He says Saudi's not going to be able to keep this up. So that tells you we got some light here at the end of the tunnel, man. And uh, <laughs> it may not seem it because we didn't make that around, you know, get around that curve yet to see the end of the tunnel yet. And, you know, maybe it's going to go a little lower, but it's, this ain't going to last too long, man. It's going to be a distant memory, you know. But you know, on the other side of it is crashing oil prices. They're definitely not going to kill the U.S. economy. Not the U.S. economy. It's going to kill the Russian economy. And I don't know what old crazy Ivan Putin's going to do because he's probably going to get really pissed off. And I don't know if he got... Tell you the truth, that guy would probably nuke us if he really got his ass backed into a wall. So I hope they don't back us into a wall too much because uh, he's crazy enough to do that shit. But I'm going to tell you this, man. I'm going to be I'm going to be taking my bike and I'm going to be putting uh, some hydrogen on that damn thing just like I got on the Jeep. But it's going to be not the wet cell. It's not going to be the dry cell. It's going to be the wet cell. And I'm probably going to bolt it to the forks right up here. Like right under the six, under the six, uh, six, six sign under here, like right up here on the front, front, uh, not the fork, but on the frame, frame leg, and uh, bolt it up there and have it going into the carburetor. And that bike uh, gets, let's see, normally it's stock, it's supposed to get 42, it gets 50, and it's uh, it's beefed up with a bunch of junk. Um, I don't know what it's going to get with HHO. It would be kind of cool if it got 55. <laughs> and it could run regular gas on it. I don't give a damn. So anyway, you got to think outside the box and uh, still keep cruising down Route 66 here, 666. And uh, chill out because uh, I could see what's coming up now. If this guy, you know, that's that's almost like talking to like the, the oil insider, right? I mean, to me, this guy is just as good as Ken Fromm. Remember Ken Fromm? The only time when Lindsey Williams used to be right was when Ken Fromm was around. You know, then every time, then since he died, Ken Lindsey Williams was and he's still selling DVDs. He's never been right again. Well, you can read the Ouija board that's on the on the uh, tattoos over here, and it's telling you that uh, you know. I mean, if this guy cashed out on all the short positions, he's got no hedges left. And he's running, and he's he's betting, he's betting heavy, because that would have been worth even more if it keeps going down. He's betting heavy that Saudi's not going to be able to keep up with this. He says there's no way to hell it's going to happen. You know, this is telling me. I'm I'm thinking this too. I'm thinking it was just a game against Russia. You know, I'm thinking it was just a game against Russia. But you never know, man. I don't know. I mean, how long could they put up with this shit? You know, the other thing is, too, um, with Vlad and Vlad over there. Well, you know, unfortunately, I like to make money on the oil. I like to make money on the silver. I make like money on the gold. I ain't going to be cheering on Vlad over there in Russia, though, and cheering for the downfall of the United States. This is bullshit, man. You know, <laughs> I just realized, you know, it's going to be in one expensive freaking uh, ride upward, and I'm going to be on my bike. Old girl who has her bike, and I'm going to be on my bike, and I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to be saving myself some uh, change on a, on the gas prices when I get up to about 8 10 bucks a gallon or some crazy crap like that, and they will. That's when you're going to be making money on your silver. So, again, I'm just going to say that for like the umpteenth time, man. 
This guy, he's like, if he would have held on to the short position, the hedge, it'll be worth even more. He's, he's dumped all of them. He dumped all the positions. He just took the one-time gain, got rid of it, and he's betting that it's going to go back up. Now, that's a guy that's uh, a big CEO in the oil companies in uh, North Dakota. He's a uh, Continental Resources. So, I don't know. It's as good as, the, as good as it gets for, like, an insider, man. I mean, I don't have any insider, but I read what an insider do, did. So, put two and two together, man. Is this going to last forever? Hell no. Hell no. But this bike will. And uh, if old girl here gets a... M- George's Lukowski multi-wave oscillator, her beauty will hold together, too, along with a little vitamin C. So just to put that on a side note and uh, stay true to the cause because this is more than an investment, man. This is a cause, man. You know, hot chicks, uh, motorcycles, colloidal silver, silver, and Lukowski multi-waves oscillators and HHO, man. You know, and vitamins. Anyway, over and out.